we will have. And here are my dowels, which I'll be using. The plan at the moment is to use the small ones for all of the, the fixed spots. So basically to connect the front and the sides together can all be fixed. And again, just, it's kind of fun. This is probably, aside from the, the carving, this is probably the most exciting part of the, the project is seeing it all as one, come together as one piece. So, and then of course the, here's one of the, that'll be the roof and the other side of the roof. What I'm thinking is it'll be basically a dowel through a piece through here, taking the place of a nail there, here, here, and again on all four corners. And then the bottom, uh, still deciding. I'm, I'm not sure if this will be too big, but basically I will attempt to... The idea is to use a dowel uh, as a hinge, basically. So I'll fasten it to this piece, but leave it, make a hole in the floor, but allow it to open and close. So we'll see how this goes. So before I put my dowels in, um, I saw a really cool short on how to make a mark on the spots where you need to drill the holes for the dowel. So uh, I wish I had the link for that short, but it got lost in my history uh, somewhere. So anyway, I thought I'd show you here. So basically all you do is take a nail and stick the head in between about halfway in. And I'm using my uh, square down here just to try to keep things whoop, in line as best I can, which like right now, kind of glad I have it there. So anyway, I will take the nail and then stick it in about halfway where I want it. And then I'm just gonna make sure they're lined up and press and try to keep them lined up. So then when I pull that apart, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little mark right there. And then same over here so that's where i'll drill my holes uh for the dows so hope that helps somebody uh one more thing on before i started drilling the holes for the dows i thought i'd mention so first i i wanted to i was about to drill the holes and i was thinking well i know i want to go in about a quarter of an inch on both sides which would be about halfway through uh the back here and then you know, about a quarter, about the same distance into the side. So uh, it's a pretty common uh, sort of trick, I guess you could call it, is to put a piece of tape um, just above the spot where you want to stop drilling. So basically at that quarter inch mark, I put a piece of tape. So when I drill into this, then I know when I stop at that tape, that'll be a quarter of an inch. So anyway, I will get to it. So I cut my half inch dowel. So I'm gonna, for now, I'm just gonna put it in uh, the end and then I'll put it in the side just to make sure that it's, it's good to go to make sure that it's lined up properly. So not rocket science, but I still like to make sure everything's lined up at least close enough. So that'll work. So next will be to drill some holes all around and uh, make some half inch dowels and, and put it together. Um, trying to remember to not glue the pieces 
uh, that should be movable. So we'll get to that later. So I'm using dowels to attach the, the roof. Um, so one thing I did to figure out where to put the holes over here was I colored in the tips of the dowels that are here. There were, I had all four in there a minute ago. Actually, I'll stick this one back in. And then uh, I pressed down hard on this so that you could see where the spots were to drill. And I've already drilled the holes and I was trying to uh, put it on and I was having a little trouble lining it up. So I took one of the dowels out, this one, and stuck it in here so that I could kind of start with that one just to make it a little bit easier to get them lined up because once I have the one then I can just kind of pop it into place like that and with that I am ready to take this all apart and start gluing the dowels into place um, except for the bottom of course which will has a dowel hinges to open. All the dowels are in place. Um, if you watched the video prior to this one, um, I was showing how I was going to use dowels instead of nails to put it all together. And uh, the bottom opens, the door opens as planned, so that's good. Um, anyway, I'm about to put some stain on. Thought I'd just do a real quick video here to show how it looks prior to the stain and then we'll do one after so we'll see you then